What do we got for Virgo, please? Okay, so the overall energy from the other readings I've done today is ending of cycles, okay? And this is very much what happens inside of Libra season, right? There's like a judgment energy, uh, energetic, um, what's well, energetic judgment, right? That's what it is. Before we enter, well, we're in Scorpio season now, so we're just coming out of that. So now it's like we're stepping into Scorpio season with like this stripping of ego like this stripping of things that have been holding us back energetically because we wanted it right this is what that energy is now king of swords air energy gemini libra aquarius at the foundation so this is you guys really i feel standing in your power it's like you guys have reached the finish line you guys have cut that energetic cord and you guys are entering scorpio season empress at the sacral and there you guys are libra energy there but i feel like that's you guys you guys go from the King of Swords to the Empress, right? Ten of Cups at the Solar Plexus. Wow. There's something about this cycle you guys are ending that is just going to completely change, recalibrate, give you a different vantage point on how you will and will not allow other people's emotional baggage to affect you anymore. I feel like they're just, that's not even an option anymore. But there was an energy with you guys where um, Virgos, some Virgos have been stuck in like these cycles with like these demonic demons, like psychopaths. But a lot of it had to do with, well, it wasn't your fault, but there was something in your guys' energetic field that needed to be transmuted and healed. And I feel like that is like, it's almost a, over nurturing energy and over caring just doing way too much is what it came down to virgo right four of pentacles now at the heart you guys are seeing this right so this is all about holding back so it's like you guys are holding this back now you're just kind of you're allowing the universe to set you into giving and receiving where i feel like it was just all giving for you guys give 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 but it was like emotional and it was just completely draining like I mean, from a universal perspective, it was just slowly lowering your vibration, minutely, right? Almost undetected. And then you found the demon in your life. You spotted him or her or whoever they were. And you said, no, no more. No more of that. Five of wands at the throat. It's like this person behind your back was your worst enemy. It's like in front of your face, they're like, hey, babe, I love you. You're my soulmate. You're my twin flame. And then behind your back to their friends, they're like, yeah, I just cheated on so-and-so. <laughs> and everybody like looked at this energy almost like, you're an absolute fool. But no one said anything. I don't know why. It's so weird. Nine of swords at the third eye. Right? I feel like this person is just anxiety-inducing for everybody around them. Like it's an immature energy. That some For some reason, Virgo, you guys... We're trapped with this energy. It's like maybe it was generational. Maybe this is something that like happened in your family throughout time. Male or female, it doesn't matter. Princess of Wands. It's like this narcissistic energy that like posed itself like it was an emperor or an empress, but it was really just a Prince of Wands. Just a, I mean, look. It's like as soon as you really see this person for who they are, this is how you see them, right? Just a prick, right? And they got a fireball. They're so concerned with hurting you, they forgot to put their top on, right? And there you are, a picture of you on their belt, right there. That's you, Virgo, right? And this person just doesn't even know what to do now. It's like you turned on the spotlight and they like tried to leave. You know how like, um, like in the movies when somebody gets caught like doing something, They'll like act like, oh, no, no. And they'll just like lean against a wall, right? And put their elbow on the wall. It's like this same energy. It's like you turn the spotlight on this demon. They're like tried to lean over, but they just leaned into a fire pit and put their hand there. But they just kept it there. And you're like, isn't your hand burning? They're like, no, I'm fine. Right? It's just this weird energy. It's like that kind of energy. Judgment. Boom. Judgment's been in every spread today. And it's like when you cut this karmic cord of attachment, then the universe is like, Send send in the cavalry, right? Because it's like it finally sees you standing up for yourself. It needed you to stand up for yourself before it sent in this energetic wave, right? This energetic judgment coming for you to help you, to assist you. 
to stop this energy from harming you anymore. Prince of Swords. Okay, there's another energy coming in here now. I feel like now, since you guys have done this, there's something else that's going to start taking place. Two of Wands. Wow, waiting for results, right? There's like a hurry up and wait energy. It's strange. Like by doing this, it allows for some other opportunity or, or opportunities to come through. Six of Wands at the heart. It's like the universe is going to give you guys some sort of... Well, this is all about victory, success, recognition, right? There's just a strong energy here from the universe, really, really, like, on your guy's tail, on your guy's back. Okay, so I got the lovers and the hangman. But in a good way, not in a bad way, like they're backing you guys up, right? Oh, wow. This is a pretty deep message. You know what I think it is, Virgo? I think this is your relationship with God. It's you seeing now how God can change your life when you do the steps to allow God to change your life. Like, it's like a let me, wait, what is it? Uh, let me help you kind of energy, right? So it's like, by you recognizing God, I need help here. What do you want me to do? Um, I'd like to be in energetic service, and I realize this energy in my life is holding me back, therefore having even the smallest minute effect on the entire collective, because each one of us, right, is a reflection on how the collective works. It's like voting. They always say, well, every vote counts, okay? Well, every energetic up-leveling counts. Every evolution of you counts. So every time you decide to work on yourself, it helps everybody, and you feel it. You start attracting what you're putting out. Virgo, this is what you've done. But I feel like you've attracted the love and the absolute admiration of your spirit guides and the energetic realm around you. They love you, right? And you're starting to understand this now. And you're starting to understand how you actually have an influence on the universe. That's your, that's your job right there, what you just did. Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay, so if there was a card to depict what I just said, it would be this. You standing in your emotional power. This is all about you standing in your power, Virgo. This is what you've done to allow this to happen. This is a massive deal. And I congratulate you guys for doing this. And I thank you. I thank you. When I see people up-leveling and do the work, I'm grateful for them doing that. I'm thankful, right? Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. If you guys want a personal, all that information will be in the description below. I have a website that's constantly being updated with different pricing for reading requests. Just keep it short, clear, and to the point. And once I have you booked in, then we'll open up the lines of communication and we'll get into the details of your reading. Uh, and I do get a lot of emails, so please just keep it really short and brief so I can get you guys booked in. Okay? All right, Virgo, please like and subscribe, and thank you for all your donations. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.